guys, welcome to my tutorial for today. My name is Trust. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to dress and make these female short pants out. If you are new to my channel, I say welcome. Kindly click on the subscribe button to get updates when I post a new video and click on the notification bell to notify you once I drop a new video. Kindly click the subscribe button just for four seconds. Thanks for that. I know you do that for me. Now let's start how I drop I drag it out. So you can see it's lovely and beautiful. Then let's drop it out. Hello guys, welcome to my tutorial for today. My name is Trust. I'll be teaching you guys how to make female short pants. You can call it nika. So how to drag it out. I've drawn the lines I'll be working on like so. This is my vertical line and my horizontal line. You can see it. My vertical line and my horizontal line. This is the line I'll be drafting it out. So I've drawn it. I leave a space of one and a half at this up for my seam allowance. Why two inch at this? This way I'll be drafting it out. Now, before we start, I will put on my measurement on the screen. The waist circumference is 32 inch, waist to hip, 9 inch, hip circumference 40 inches, tie 24 inches, crotch length 10 inch, length of shorts 20 inches, circumference at the bottom of shorts 20 inches. My waistband with 2 inch. Now let's start the drafting. Before I draft out, before you draft out your short pants, the part I'll be drafting on is bandless. So I'm removing band at top. So I will go for two inch for my band. You can see. So I remove two inches for the band. So remember when calculating it, make sure you remove the two inches at all before drafting it out, not to make any error and mistake. Now let's start. My my waist to it is nine inches. Remember. My waist removed two inch at top, like so. So my waist to it is nine inch. Then you remove two inch, which is seven inch. So this is my seven inch, like this. So I'll form a straight line across. Remember, I've removed two inches at top. So this is my seven inch. Then you draw a straight line across it like this you can see now let's go to for our heat my heat is 40 inch so this line is where I will be drafting out my my heat circumference around here so let's go for the crotch my crotch is 10 inch then I remove two from up. You can see this is 10 inch for my crotch. Remember to remove two inch at up like this. Then I'm left with eight inches. So I will draw a straight line from the crotch also. You can see this is eight inch for my crotch. Remember, no seam allowance now. After drafting it out, I will add the seam allowance. Then, a straight line also for the crotch. You can see. Like this. Now, let's go for our waist, our each circumference. The circumference around the area is 40. Then, 40 divided by 4 which is 10 so my is is 10 inches you can see so I'll mark the 10 inch right here also at my crotch then at my waist also I'll mark the 10 inch then you form a straight line like this You can see. So this is my vertical line, and this is the horizontal line. You can see like this. So name it. Then this line is my waistline. 
let's name it waistline why this line is my hip then this line is my crotch now to get the crotch the crotch curve I will extend this crotch line by 3 inches like this you can go with two and a half, 2.5 or 2 inch but for this tutorial I'm using 3 inch so I extend the crotch by 3 you can see like this I extend the crotch by 3 inch like this now I want to form the crotch cuff just place your French cuff like this then from here down to this point the 3 inch I don't know so from this line just cuff it you can go with 2 or 2.5 now I'm coughing it with my French cuff you can see like so then make the crotch cuff like this so this is my crotch cuff for my short pants like so now let's measure my weight my weight is 32 divided by 4 which is 8 then I'll mark the 8 inch right here place your tape through at this line then mark the 8 inch like this then I will add my 1 inch for that so this is my 8 inch for my waist then I add 1 inch for the dart then quarter inch like this for my if so this is my if quarter inch 1 inch you can see it for the cut not up to half inch so my waist is 32 divided by 4 which is 8 then I add 1 inch for my dart then quarter inch for my ease now we are going to connect it from this point down to the hip then to the crotch line with the help of my French cuff so I will cuff it now like this you can see easily then cuff it out this is how to cuff the waist now let's go for my tie my tie is 24 24 the second another area is 24 so before getting your tie you have to know the distance between the crotch and the tie the distance between your crotch and your tie is 3 inch or 2.5 but for this story I will go with 3 inch for my tie now make sure it's up to 3 inch or 2.5 for your tie now I'm going with 30 inch for this tutorial so let's draw a straight line like so like this so this this line is my side now before getting the circumference around the side area now let's go for the middle of our short to get the middle of the short we have to measure the entire line of this you can see I'm having 13 inch for this line here I'm having 13 inches here you can see so you divide the 13 into 2 measure the lines of the crotch so my crotch is 13 after measuring everything just take your staple like this then you divide it into 2 divide it into 2 I'm having 6.5 you can see I'm having 6.5 so now to get the crotch to get the middle of the shot now then you place the tape rule around the end of the crotch you can see place the tape rule we have, we have 6.5 so this 6.5 measure it at the crotch at the middle also at the hip line this is 6.5 then at the waist but when measuring it at the waist when measuring it at the waist 
don't measure it from this waist cuff measure it for the with each line this line the entire line just paste the tape like this you can see then you mark 6.5 you can see how i did that you mark 6.5 now that's from a straight line like this so this is the middle of the shop this 6.5 so you can see it's 6.5 this is the how to get the middle of your chop your shot you go ahead and mail this line the crotch line that we call after coughing it i'm having 13 so the 13 inch i divide it into which is 6.5 so at this line at the side line you place your tape like this so you can see 6.5 at the hip also 6.5 why at the crotch now at the tie let's place it also the 6.5 like this so this is 6.5 remember we haven't get the tie we this, this is just the middle of our shorts to drag it out now let's get the tie my tie is 24. Remember 24 divided by 4, which is which is 6. So my tie divided by 4, which is 6. But this in two places. So 24 divided by 2, which is 12. You can see 12 inch. This is 24. Then I fold my tape through like so. So I'm having 12 inch. Now the 12 inch. You place your the middle of the trap. This is the trap inch. I will just fold my tape through like this. You can see this six inches. Now I'll place the six inch at this middle. You can see like this. You place the six inch at this middle of the shot. Like this. You can see this is six inch. Why this place is the twelve inches. So the six inch now i will just put the dotted line like this then the 12 inch also at this point you mm -hmm. can see this is the track just to get the middle make sure you follow the middle line now so this is the after putting my tape around here this is six inch why this line is the 12 so you just form a straight line like this you can see like this this is the twelve. remember this point then you draw it down to this point like this you can see draw it down so after folding my tape room i'm having six here yeah why i'm having the 12 here but make sure you put your paper at the middle to get your tie now let's go for the short length my short length is 20 then i minus two inch for the band so i'm left with 18 inches so just place the table right here to get the 18 inches so this is the 18 inches place your table remember i haven't had anything allowance to eat so this is the 18 inches then draw a straight line across it also like this you can see then let me let's get the middle also from here to this point, remember it's 6.5, then I will just place my tape through at this point to get the 6.5, you can see, this is the middle, remember it's 6.5, then draw a straight line across it also to get the middle of the shot at this place also. Can see. Mm -hmm. So now 
I've dragged it out here. Now let's get the circumference around at the bottom of the shirt. The circumference at the bottom of the shirt is 20 divided by 2, which is 10. So this is 10 inch. Then remember the middle of 10 will be 5. Then place your tape proof at this point also. This is 5 inch and this is 10. You can see the 5 inch. Then you mark it right here. Why the 10 inch you mark it right here? You can see. Then we join the line together like so. So I've joined it like this. Why at my side I will join it to this line? You can see also easily like that. You can see how I draft it out. My tie is 20 divided by 2, which is 10. So, at the middle, I place the 5. So, you can see, this is 5 inch, and why this is 10 inch, to form my, my, my circumference around the bottom of the shot. This is how to draft it out. Now, let's go for the dart at this top. This middle will be the dart line. The middle of the shot will be my dart line. Now, I remember I added, after I divide my waist into four, I'm left with eight. Then I add one inch for the dart, then half is. Now, the dart, this line will be our dart line. So, let's, took, let's take half inch at both sides for the dart. This half inch, you can see at both sides. Then, the length of my dart is 4.5. This 4.5. Don't draw a straight line from this half inch to this. Why right from this half inch to this? Remember, I use 4.5 at that place. Now let's draw a straight line to form our dart. You can see how it is. So this is my dart. So let's name this line. This is my middle line for my shorts. At this point, let's call it our dark line. So, this line is also your dark line and your middle line of your shorts. Now, remember, this line I use 3.5, 3 inch, sorry, I use 3 inch. You can also go with 2.5, but I use 3 inch for this. My pi is 24 divided by 2, which is 12. Then I place the middle round here to form it. This is 12 inch. Make sure when dropping it out, the middle of your, your measurement is placed at this line, the straight line. Now let's add the same allowance. Remember, I would add any seam allowance for this. So let's go for the seam allowance. Let's add it all around. Let's add the same allowance, all the same allowance to it. I use this arrow to indicate my same allowance that I put. I just up this half inch to attach my band. Why this half inch? Why at this point I use 1.5 for the turn in? I want to turn it in, so I'm cutting this 1.5 for the turn in on my trouser. After seeing it, you turn this 1.5 inside so this is 1.5 at this cost also half inch why at this side half inch you can see now let's cut the zip fly you can cut it like this then later cut your zip fly but i will cut this zip fly now i will show you guys how to cut it out easily so now at this point at this line you can see at this line, the, not the same line as this line, just go out by 1.5. You can see, so I'm going out by 1.5 at my real cuff line. You can see this is 1.5. Then from up, I will go like 
4.5 you can go with 4 or 3 that's how you want your zip fly to be so go out by 4.1.5 then t is 4.5 you can see so i'm going i'm going down by 1.5 now let's draw a straight line like this so this is a straight line like this then join it at this up also now to form the curve at this just measure five inch you can see like this then you cut it from this 4.5 down to this line you can see how i did it so just place your french curve for that you can see like this then i've just cut it out like so you can see how i i did that i just cut it so this is my zipper fly you can see how i did it this is 4.5 then i come out by 1.5 then from here this one this five inches so i just cut it out like this you can see so this is how to do your zip fly so let's put it as zip fly right here you can see now i've dragged it out let's cut it out now now i've cut it out like this you can see this place is the turn in that i had this 1.5 turn in why this is my zipper fly before you place it at the back make sure you fold this zipper fly as like this you can see fold it inside not to get distracted when cutting the back so i fold it in like this you can see you can easily pin it when so that when cutting your back to be easier for you to draft it out then i want to quickly explain this at this the 1.5 inch i had at the back make sure you notch it like this notch it the 1.5 i had it like this you cannot you don't need to fold it in because we use it to cut the bubble this zip allowance fold it in now i will place it on the back to cut then I explain how i cut the back out now i'll place it at the back so i'll just use my tape to tape it like this you can see just tape it down so that you won't get any confused when cutting it so i'll tape it down here now i'll use this blue marker for this back to cut it out now before you start make sure you have space at your paper or at your fabric the space there's no space for you to drag out the back because we add some alarm some allowance to it now at my hip line at this hip line extend it like this make sure you extend the hip line like this extend the hip line like so you can see i've extended it at my crotch line also extend it like this so i've extend the line now at your crotch extend it by 2.5 at your crotch extend it by 2 inch don't go with 2.5 go with 2 inch extend it by at this crotch you extend it by two inch you can see like this then from a straight line across it i extend my crotch line by two inch now to form at this point at the hop you can see at this up you go in by Starting from here, you go in by two inch. Right here, can see? I go 
in by two inch at the hop. Then you go you go up by two point five. You can see like this. You go up by two point five. At this point also, at the two inch you go up by two point five. Can see how I did that. Two point five. Why I go in by two, then I go up by two point five at this line. Now at this this is for here, but at this point also you can see here you go in by two inch you can see how I go in by two inch then you go up by 2.5 you can see you go up by 2.5 here so you go in by 2 inch you go up by 2.5 now you come at this crotch from this crotch line that I mark here this is my crotch this at this point inside this crotch line you just go up by 2.5 here you can see the crotch line at this cuff i name label it crotch line at this crotch not here at this crotch you go up by 2.5 also like this now we will now connect connect all the lines together now you can see. I want to quickly explain something here. At this side that I go in and go up, you don't need this. This is for male pants. But for female pants, we are needing it at this crotch line. So this point I did there is out of it. This is for male trouser. But for this short pant for female, so let's go for this. Now remember at this point I go in by 2 inch, then go up by 2.5 like I did here also for the female, for the male pants rather. So this is 2.5. At this crotch that I write, then I go up by 2.5. You can see it. I go up by 2.5. Just place your tape rule like this, then you go up by 2.5. Now, we we'll connect the four lines, the four dots together. Now, you connect it from this point the 2.5 I go up then from this you can see down to this point then cut it here but we don't need this line this is just sort of indicate it like this so we just join one two three the three dots we connect it together now let's do that using our French cuff like this you can see from this line we connect it down to the 2.5 I took you can see from this 2.5 up you connect it like so you sort of cough right here sort of cough cough down now let's give it a little now we have to connect it the 2 inch I take in what then the 2.5 as well then we connect it you can see from this point to this point then rise to here then to the crotch we extend by two point you can see i quickly explain did this off camera i took 2.5 right here you can see if we cut our crotch right here this will be like shorting of fabric when cutting it out when drafting it so I just place my tape rule right here. You can see, like diagonal, like this, up. So this is the 2.5. That so we connect it from here to this point, then down to the curve. You can see the very long curve that we do here. You can see it's like this. So we don't need this point. It's just of indication. So the two inches I took inward like this. You don't need this, it's just only these three points. The 2.5 up, then down, connect it down to this, then to the crotch. We extend this crotch by two inch. That's it. Is. You can see it's a very long, very long crotch. 
very long curve like this. So let's try and curve it out like this. You can see so easily and gently. Then you curve, just open it like this. Then we curve it out. Make sure it's sort of curve. Then easily like this. You can see we are making it down to this point like this you can see so this is how the curve is you can easily use your hand to your free hand to curve it a little bit you can see so this is how the curve is after curving it out so make sure this point is curved so you want to add a little adjustment here to make this curve out small like this. Now this is how the curve is when curving it out. Now let's go for our waist. To get the waist of the back like this, just place your table right here to measure the waist at this point. So at this point my waist is 9.5 you can see so this 9.5 then you place your tape rule like this like sort of planting it to get the 9.5 place your tape rule right here to this point you can see so at this point I'm having 9.5 right here Make sure your tape rule is placed easily on it. So slant it to this up. I'm having 9.5 right here. You can see. Then let's join it together from this top right to this point. Let's make a straight line across it. Like so. You can see. So this is how to get your weight. From this, so you can see how I did that. I'll measure my waist like this. This is 9.5. Then just place your table at the 2.5 with two cup. Remember, this is 2.5. Then you place your tape rule at this. Then this is 9.5, like slanting the tape rule. You can see. So after that, let's join it at this. Hip line that I extend. I'm going to take more inch for my seam allowance. Then at the crotch also, at the crotch also, this one inch all the way around, one inch one. So at this, the bottom also one inch. Then. Just form a straight line like this, a sort of curve when joining all the lines together. Sort of curve like this. You can see. Then at this point, also just join it down. Join it down also to this one inch we took you can see like this so this is how to join it all the lines together now let's go for our dart to measure your dart you have to measure this line so at this point like this this is four inch you can see so just place your tape at the up also then the four inch you can see place your tape rule four then at this point also four so let's go from the dart line so my dart here is four point five just open the open it like this just to get our dart you can see like this so I'm having 4.5 now 
then when drafting your doubt make sure your table is sort of parallel to the curve line so just land the table this is 4.5 so that parallel to the curve line then let's take half inch that at both sides also so this half inch and half inch you can see now join it to this line like we did for the front part form a straight line first so this is my dart this is my dart you can see then half inch just took a half inch at both sides like this and also like this you can see so this is how to form our dart then close it back then let's tape it like this now pin it because remember this the zipper allowance that we added right here this is the zipper allowance now let's go for this side the curve side also let's go for the curve side by extending it at this point you don't need any allowance any seam allowance at this side so just draw it straight to the your sh the bottom of the shot like this you can see you don't need any seam allowance at this side just sort of joining it all the way around like this you can see so let's join it down to this point round like this and then draw the lines also remember we have one inch allowance right here so let's extend it then join the line to make it the same as the front part make sure you do it gently not to make any mistake when joining you can see so the back part and the first part are the same now so after after joining it like so the one inch that i add for this same allowance you may or may not need the one inch is that we just added at the back pattern ask it just in case you can take it out why swing if you don't need it so the one inch that we add here you may or may not need it so you can take it out when sewing your fabric i just add the one inch not to be shortened by fabric when sewing your short pants now we have dropped it out now so let me quickly explain it back i extend my hip line then i extend my crotch line also my waist line also you can see i extend it here then right here also i extend my waist line like this so my waistline and my hip line and the crotch, I extend this. While at this line, I extend the crotch line like this. After extending it, I at this crotch at the edge, I go in by 2 inch, then go up by 2.5. I go in by 2 inch, then I go up by 2. After folding the zipper fly, so go in by 2, then go up by 2.5. After going in, I come right there as my crotch. I go up by 2.5 also. You can see, like slanting it at this crotch line, I go up by 2.5, just sort of slant. At my crotch, I extend the crotch by 2 inch right here. You can see, making it 4 dots 1, 2, 3, and 4. But I don't use this because it's sort of indicating when coming in. So I join it. From this 2.5, I came in to this crotch slant, down to this quarter and the crotch 2.5 I took here. So from this point to here, you can go with 2 inch. At this crotch that I slant my tape through, 2.5, you can go with 2. 
So I joined the three lines together like so. After joining, so as this scotch line, I go in by 2.5, go out by 2.5, can see. So I join the three dots together right here, 2.5. You can see how I did it. So you can go with two inch, that's how you want your cut to be. So I just join it. To this point down to the slant then I, I send this by two for the crotch curve then just now I didn't add any seam allowance at this part but at the side part I added more inch for my seam allowance can see so I add one inch you may or may not need the one inch that I I had at it add it just in case you can take it out while see me if you don't need it so this is how I did it and this is how I got my dart. At this point I measure this line throughout to here. So I'm having four inch. So at this edge also I place my table here, then this four inch. Then the upper inch I took, I just slant it down here. You can see. So in case of not shorting by fabric, that is why I add it here. You may or may not add it. Now, remember, no any allowance at the down. My front part is also at the back part. The inches that I had, they are the same length. Now, let's cut it out. So, I've cut it out like this. Remember, the blue, I use the blue pen to indicate the back part while the red pen for the front part like this so this is how it is when cutting it out then remember add this down go ahead and notch it the, remember the front part will notch this so you are going to fold it out like fold it in like this when sewing your fabric then just Fold it a little bit for it. So let's place it at the back also. Then we notch it at this back. You can see I place it like this. Then I notch it also at this part. Then we notch it. You can see how beautiful is it. Can you give this video a top of? And thanks for watching my video. Kindly click on the subscribe button to watch more of my video and click on the bell below to notify you once I drop a new video. Thanks. Bye.